Hi, it's Dean from Worldwide Trekking. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, emergency situations and if you had to call somebody for a rescue if you were out in a remote area, if you had to be signaling somebody or be seen. Um, really important to always uh, use the basics. If you are with a professional guided trip like Worldwide Trekking, of course your pro guide is going to have the equipment that they need based on the area where you're traveling. But a lot of people are going on, say, training treks or training trips or hikes and things like that. So to start out, you for surely want to let somebody know your plan if you're going hiking um, in different areas, especially areas that aren't traveled uh, often, like busy trails. Where you're, If you're on busy trails, of course, there's a lot of other people that you pass along the way. If you venture off into the backcountry, then of course you want to know uh, let someone know where you're going to be. So just simply telling a friend or a family member what your plan is for the day, when you expect to start, when you expect to return. So if you don't return, they have an idea of your location and what your plan for the day is. That's really important, uh, basic communication. So, <clears throat> and that can even be, you know, picking up the cell phone and sending somebody a text message while they're at work, like your spouse or a friend or whomever, and tell them that you're planning on doing this hike today. Maybe that one ventures up to where the trail stops and you were gonna go up higher onto the, you know, the rocks or something like that. Really super important, because if you do have a problem and you can't get a signal out, um, it would be really hard to find somebody in that situation. Some of the ways to signal people, um, if you are, um, in an area where you find yourself that you can't move and you don't have communications, maybe no cellular service, like uh, a phone is a uh, signal mirror. You know, a signal mirror is really important to have. A signal mirror just hits the sun reflection. You can send a signal out. You can kind of shine it towards a populated area or something like that, or down to the trail where there might be people around or into the air if something's flying overhead. When, you, when someone gets a little closer, Having a, a basic like coach's whistle, you know, if, if uh, you can be doing, uh, sending that out, you might hear it a little better than just trying to yell, especially if there's noise distraction like running water and things like that. Uh, it can be really sharp sounding and you can toot it and it takes a lot less energy to blow a whistle than to scream or yell. So if you're hurt, it might be hard to yell, but you might be able to send just enough air through that whistle to get the sound out to have it travel further. One of the things that we bring when, when I'm on water trips, sound trips especially, is one of these uh, 360 degree signal uh, uh, units. Hard to see right now, but if it was light out or, or dark out, you'd see it very well. And this one, it sends a signal out in 360 degrees. So if you just hold it up in the air like this, it's sending a signal flash in every direction. We'll use these at night when we um, take the dinghies out to the big boat at, in dark because we just hold this up and any boat coming in us from any direction sees our, our, our flash signal. Uh, a flashlight sends a beam, so of course it's very directional and it's not going to be seen from every angle. Um, this is something if you were traveling at night and you wanted to be seen in, from all directions, another easy way and uh, to send a signal out. Then we step into the more, um, you know, the more of an investment type of uh, signaling systems, I think, that are really important to uh, talk about but these are the ones I like. Um, the InReach Mini. The InReach Mini is a satellite communicator. It links to an app on your phone called the EarthMate app. It does uh, take a subscription, so it's subscription based. The bottom line to subscription, if you were just to use it in case of emergency where you had 10 text messages for free, they would be 50 cents for a text message after that that would run about $15 a month. They do have a freedom plan and that allows you to shut it on and off. There's a cheaper version if you wanted to go on a yearly basis, but I find that the freedom plan, even myself with all the travel and all the trips I take, I change my plan a lot. And there are some months that although I'm doing remote stuff, I still have cellular service 
all the time, so I don't need it, or maybe I have a month or two without guiding, so I'll shut it right off. Stepping up from that a little bit is the uh, Garmin InReach uh, Explorer. This one, basically these two units have a similar capability to send a satellite communication from your cell phone, like a text message or an SOS. They even have an advanced SOS where you just hit the button and that's saying send help um, device. You can do two-way texting on both of them back and forth. The larger version, of course, is gonna be a little more expensive and it's gonna have more GPS capability. So GPS capability is gonna give you the options to navigate with it and chart a course and things like that. So I think for most people, especially people that say come on our trips, they're, that are being guided and they don't really have to find the way, they're using this as a communication device. I'm day three on Kilimanjaro and I'm just texting my family member back and forth back at home anytime. And they can, uh, you know, the texting is convenient because when you get into um, time changes, say you're in Tanzania, Africa on Kili or over in Nepal um, trekking a remote route, um, it might not be co uh, convenient to call at uh, the middle of the night for where, when your family or friend or whomever you're trying to reach is up at home. So with these long distance travel, a text message they can get in the morning when they wake up and then you can you know, text back and forth if you find yourself together up at the same hours. But a lot of times there's significant time changes that we're dealing with. Then we step up to the Iridium Extreme is what I carry for a satellite phone. We, um, uh, this one has a charging, a charging as well on the side. And of course, uh, you should check into the plans with this. This is gonna run you a lot more money, but this is if you actually wanna speak and talk back and forth on the phone. I think that these days the text message system works in most cases, being able to send people simple messages. These have 106 characters per message, 160 characters per message. So keep that in mind if you buy a plan that has 10 text message, you can't send a message out that has, you know, 400 words in it. It's going to have 160 and that's the max you can send on this. So you're going to have to, you know, keep that in mind when you pick the plan. If you decide to go with uh, the basic plan, 10 text messages for free, 50 cents afterwards, 40 text messages for free, 50 cents per text message afterwards, or then you go up into plans that are unlimited text messaging for the whole month. So um, the Iridium Satellite Extreme phone, this one is, is going to, you know, you'll be able to just call and talk on the phone like this. But of course, keep in mind that if you are really remote in an area um, overseas, the subscription plan to activate this SIM card is quite expensive. Hundreds of dollars for, you know, you're up into the few hundred dollars for 100 minutes, 150 minutes and um, they only last for a month or two months. It depends on the package you buy. You should look at those and really think about how many minutes you wanna talk and what you wanna do. Um, and then you should also think about the fact that is it convenient for me to call and talk on the phone with the time change in the area that I'm traveling with. So these are just a few ways of, uh, you know, trying to stay safe when you go outside. I'd say on the basic end, letting people know where you're going, what your plan is, when you expect to return, and, um, and then maybe letting them know that you're out and you have returned um, so they get used to that type of communication. And then some of these signaling systems and then some of these really uh, more sophisticated communication systems. There's something for everybody out there. It's nice to get out and explore, travel around, and feel like in the event of emergency, you can have help coming your way. You can contact. You're not totally out of contact um, when you're out on your adventures, no matter where you are in the world. Thanks for watching.